That's fucking weird. This one's getting thrown away too. Ooh, I'm gonna smash this in the cap. Oh, that was that as well. Hey guys, it's me, back for another video. I was like trying to figure out what I was gonna do and I have all this makeup piled up around my studio, which I have not put away yet. I have been getting a lot of products that are super, super, super colorful. Palettes, eyeliners, lipstick, etc. So I gathered some of them up in a little pile over here and I thought it might be fun to dive into one of them and do a colorful look because I first got known on Instagram and YouTube and kind of just in the beauty space if you've heard of me, for my use of color. And if you remember my collection with Urban Decay, this was my colorful palette. It's extremely colorful. <laughs> Hence the name Kaleidoscope Dream. Let's create a look because I haven't done a colorful makeup look in a really long time and I don't really know what's come over me. Part of it I think is the fact that I've been getting eyelash extensions, which has made kind of doing like liner and stuff on the top a little bit more difficult. So I've been kind of staying away from bright colors. So I put up this colorful backdrop and I was like, you know what, let's do, let's do some color and go back to our roots. So let's go through and check out some of the palettes and products I've received recently, I just spit on the camera, that are colorful and fun. And by the way, I'll link all of these for you guys in the description box below in case you were interested in checking them out for yourself. Up first is L Lavi Dunn Prince. This is an influencer that I just started following when I received this palette. This is by BH Cosmetics and he uh, created this. So if you open it up, there is just like tons of color in here and I think this is the one I'm gonna use today because I'm really drawn to these shades over here. Okay, next is the, um, this is so cute, the Kimchi X Ketnips Rainbow Sharts palette. So based on that name right there, like Rainbow Sharts, you know there's gonna be a lot of rainbow stuff in here. So this is what the front looks like. It's super, super cute. Like I don't know who did all these illustrations, but they're adorable. So let's check out the inside. You get a giant mirror right here. Like this thing's huge. And then for the most part, this is a pretty neutral palette other than the fact that you have these super bright shades right here. This is another one that's come out recently that's just super, super bright. Next is Morphe and Ponies Makeup. Now, this PR package, I haven't shared on Instagram just because it doesn't really do it for me. And that doesn't mean that it's like not a pretty palette, but it's definitely one that I wouldn't be buying. And the reason why is because I don't really like pastel eyeshadows. Like it's just never been something that appeals to me. So the packaging is really rad and congrats to Ponies Makeup for the collaboration. It's really rad, but it's just like the lipstick shades are like coral and pink. And then there's this palette and it is so pretty. It's called the Icy Fantasy 351. And if you do like this, don't let me stop you. I do have a discount code for Morphe too if you ever want to use it. This palette just does not excite me. Like when I look at this, I'm just kind of like, okay, like what do I do with that? Like this one's really cool, but like I would just, these two I would use, but on I can honestly say I would use this one because it's like duochrome, this one, maybe that one, and like these two. And I can honestly say like the rest of this palette, I have no idea what to do with it. Like it looked amazing on her in the PR package and on the, pic the, the picture she took. And I was like, oh, that's really pretty. But like, I feel like not that many people can use these pastels. Like I look at this and I'm just kind of like scratching my head like, okay, what do I do with this? And I know that I really need a palette when I look at it and I like immediately like tons of color combos are coming to my mind and I'm, I get excited to use it. That one I'm just kind of like, So last but not least, this is, there There have been more. I just grabbed the ones that I saw laying around, but this is the, this is the Morphe New Year's Eve palette. This is a 39L Hit the Lights and the packaging matches my background right now. This is gorgeous. I really like what Morphe's been doing with their palettes lately because typically they've been just black and it's just really hard to know what is on the inside. Like I started like labeling them like pinks and purple. This one is a mixture of just like, brights and then some more neutrals, but these are so rich and gorgeous. These I love, these I love. I pretty much love everything in this, except I'm not a giant fan of this blue and this one, but for the most part, like everything in here, I think is really pretty and I, I would use it. 
This isn't an eyeshadow palette, but this was, um, I think this was a holiday collection by um, ColourPop. This is Star Crossed Colors. And it's just like all these liners and colored liners. And obviously there's a lot of neutrals in here too, but there's a lot of colors as well. I have never been a giant fan of ColourPop liners simply because if you drop this pencil or you travel with it too rough, the inside pencil breaks and it just falls off a ton when you're trying to use it. Love them, but hate them. We had the Spicy Betch palette by Tarte. And I thought this was a little out of character because usually Tarte kind of does, you know, pretty safe, neutral, pretty tones. And then they came out with this one and I was like, okay, Tarte, like I see you, I see what you're doing. So I really like this and I do want to create a look with it. Okay, so like I said, today I'm gonna be using, I wish I knew how to say this, the, the La, La, Lavi Dunn prints? La, I don't know how to say that. Um, so we're gonna be using this right here, and I think I'm gonna be mostly using these guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna use the Naked Skin Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in pink, just because I have some darker areas right there and some veins I wanna cover up. I've been loving this brush right here. This is a BH Cosmetics 5. It's been like, it's like nice and blunt and just really good for blending in concealer. Now I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in, this is in Light. Who is watching? The Bachelor right now. I keep seeing that everyone's comparing that Hannah chick who opened that champagne or whatever to like, was it Luke P? Um, and I don't really understand the, like the reference. Maybe someone can explain that to me. I just I don't get it. Alrighty then. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna set this um, lightly with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Let's see. I've been using this stuff a lot lately. I'm gonna take. Cocoon right here. Ooh, hello color. Oh, how I have missed you. You might be asking yourself, why do I not have my foundation on yet? I like to do my foundation last when I do colors like this because I want to just be able to pack it on and not worry about any fallout, especially if I'm dealing with a palette that I've never used before. Um, this doesn't have any fallout so far and I've got a lot of product on the brush. So, so far so good. Taking a towel, I'm wiping off the excess from the brush. And then I'm gonna go back and just do kind of a windshield wiper motion because I don't wanna blow this out too much, but I definitely want this diffused a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be taking Cielo right here. Oh my gosh, how did they get these so pigmented? They're so good. Once I've got the majority of product off of my brush, I'm gonna wipe it on the towel and I'm gonna slowly kind of like marry these two together. There is a bit more fallout here with this shade, but I mean, look at these, look at this payoff. Like I'm not, I'm not shocked. This is a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I do have a Luxie code too, by the way, if you're interested. Sometimes their brushes chip, but it's probably because I wash them a little aggressively. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. One thing I'm noticing about this eyeshadow is that it's probably because it's so pigmented, it just grabs on, and I'm curious if I'm gonna have stained eyelids, but it doesn't blend out super willingly. Like I'm, I'm blending this out and like not really a whole lot is happening. So I'm gonna grab more of the blue and try a different method and kind of just start blending it out the moment we set it down. They're so vibrant. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow now in here. I'm gonna take Noel right here. It's kind of a mix between like a yellow and like a, it's like a yellow goldy kind of shade. Goes on kind of like mustardy. Pretty impressed. 
impressed with this pigmentation. Will I be impressed with how it comes off of my eyes later tonight though? <laughs> okay, so these shades I feel like are not meant to go near your eyes. And usually brands get away with that by saying that it's a pigment. And on the back of this, it calls them color shadows. And then it says, I'm interested to hear more about this because I hate to say it, but I don't think that there's any way in hell that these are meant, to, especially not this one, and especially not this one meant to go near your eye. Before we finish the eyes, I'm gonna do the base. This is called Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Then I'm gonna go in with Dermablend Flawless Creator in, this is 30N. I actually don't really know if this is my shade right now. But. Lately, I've also been using this as concealer because it covers so well. So I'm gonna do that today too. It's also a really thin, nice layer. I'm gonna go back to the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder and just set my entire face. I'm gonna go back into Noel, which is our yellow. Lay that back over top since I'm gonna got a little covered. I'm gonna find some eyeliners that match these shades and it looks like I've got this ColourPop one and this Tarte one. So the ColourPop one, this is Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh geez, it just broke. See what I'm saying? Ugh. What the hell? You guys have to see this close up. See all that weird stuff on there? Never mind, I'm gonna be throwing that away. I don't know why it looks like that, but it ain't going near my eye. Okay, let's see. The other green that I have is LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. Okay, so I'm gonna do waterline and into the lash line. And then the blue I'm gonna use, oh my gosh, this is pretty flat right here. Let's see what we can do. This is Easy on the Eyes Tarte Liner in Electric Blue. Then I'm gonna take both of these shades again and just lay them over the top um, on the lower lash line. Um, I was gonna tell you guys, I've been watching the second season of You and I just can't stand the freaking girl that's in it. I don't know why she, drives me nuts. I was talking about this on my Finsta um, and uh, she just bothers me. I don't even know what it is. So I couldn't, I couldn't watch more of it, unfortunately. But my friend was like, oh, like you should watch it. And I was like, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what happens. And so I told her and I was like pretty much spot on. So now I don't know if I really need to watch it. Should I watch it or do I not do, can I skip it? Like, I don't know. I just out of curiosity want to check another Oh my gosh, it looks the same. What is all that weird shit on there? Look at this one. Can you see that? Okay, I don't know. That's fucking weird. This one's getting thrown away too. Ooh, I'm gonna smash this in the cap. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay. Went ahead and did my brows off camera, and now I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna be using the Profusion Highlight and Contour. This is a very affordable brand, which I really like, and they're cruelty free. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit of this guy and a little bit of this guy. Taking an Urban Decay, what is this? Uh, large powder brush, I'm taking the matte light shade out of the palette right here. Oh, there's a lot of kickback on that. Just to add some matte highlight here. For highlight, I'm gonna take the Becca Cosmetics Opal Highlighter. Oh, this one's always been so good. Then I'm gonna use the Jouer, this is Rose Gold Blush Duo, and I'm gonna use Rose Petal, which is this one right here. 
Oh my gosh, there's a lot of fallout. I'm gonna darken this freckle right there. I like how the person that lives with me right now that needs to not live with me soon before I lose my shit and I can film more is literally like unpacking the freezer right now. And it's like so loud. Oh, if you wanna hear about that story, it's in the intro of the video prior to this one. <laughs> For lips, I just got these in the mail and I think these are really cool. This is um, uh, Truffle Ghost of Colors and it's a set that comes with these so you get a um, a velvet mousse lipstick a liquid matte and a gloss and a lip liner that goes with all of them and first of all i love the monochromatic packaging but i it came in i got two different shades this one's a little more uh like a little less pink and, the, and more brown and nude and the other one is has a slight hue of pink so i grabbed this one for the colorful look that we did today but i just love that this comes in a kit and they're all matching so you can like layer them you can do like the gloss over this or just this all over the lips with the gloss or just the gloss like i just really love that you can like use all of these so i'm gonna do the velvet mousse i want to see what that's about my lips are kind of dry so this is so pretty this mousse feels really good too. And this brings us to the end of the colorful look. I'm pretty actually pretty excited about this. I really like this and I think I need to start wearing more color again because this is so fun. I really like this palette. I think it's really affordable. I think it's pretty. So if these colors interest you. Oh, also I wanna show you guys this one because I didn't use it, but like, look at that. This one is Metamorphosis. So I really like this palette and I think I'm gonna keep these other ones on my desk so I can use these, except for the fucking Morphe pastel one. Ugh. I actually have tons of makeup downstairs that I need to take to a woman's shelter. So if you're in Nashville and you know of one, please let me know. This was fun. And if you guys wanna see more colorful looks on my Instagram and YouTube, then give this video a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.